all this clutter I need to get sorted out. Um, and the idea is to try and make some quick, easy shelving, um, brackets, racks, whatever's needed without spoiling the effect. It looks nice. I don't want to cover it all over with bits of wood. Um, so hopefully making something that will complement what it looks like. Okay, I mean, I've got these three little drills, um, wires with them. I don't want everything hanging and trailing. I want to try and keep this surface as clear as possible. So I think first off, get something, a bracket or something made to take these and hold the wire up and, and go into something like that. Into there, in that way, maybe it might hang better. Um, and I think I'll have a piece of board that matches this. Says we'll find some wood and such that we're going to bring it back up and measure and mark up what we need. Okay, I've got a piece of sparkly black matching board. Let's just make it the full width. That's to there. Um, now I want these to go in quite easily there. So if I uh, really deeper than that really. So about that. Maybe slot it up on the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drop in. Yeah, drop in. Right. There, to there, that's one. I'll get a fourth of it, I think. We'll cut that circle. Um, about that size. And that'll drop in, that'll be comfortable for that one. This one, again, let's just keep it to the shoulder there. Hmm. No, let's drop all the way down. Right, in the middle, there. And at the back around for all there for the wire. Do the same with this one. Mm, this time I'll drop it in that one. So we'll go to that point there. Mm -hmm. And again at the back, a slot hole. Slot hole for the wire. Okay, we'll get that cut. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of end cap, which we'll call it end cap. It's what fits over the ends. Another piece of it there. Just there, you see this is a piece of end cap. It's metal, rigid, wider at the back than it is at the front. And I figured if I just drill holes in the end of it, screw it to this board along here, it should hold solid and then I can slot the board into it with some glue and uh, some rubber glue, silicon um, and it should hold it. We can see. Okay, so start off with, let's rip it all down to size. Double size. Okay, now I just have to uh, drill out for these tools to go into it. Okay, first for the big one, nice big force of it there. Again, nothing exact. I might just be back a bit further. Yeah. 
Вот это вот, да? Sit there nicely. Yeah. I'm going to pull that anyway. Easy in. I'm just going to put a bit of sandpaper around there later. I think. It's a little fast there, but it won't hurt it. Right, what I've got here is it's um, a wall plate from a shower, shower screen, which is um, quite ideal because it's got a lot deeper inset piece, and that will just sit into it nicely in there and should hold quite tight. So we just uh, cut a piece. through there as you can see we can see the plate and that's going to catch the wires so I just want to remove that first now it's clear okay and I just want to take that edge off there just because it's going to be sticking out and at some point I'll end up stabbing myself with it over on the bandsaw Oh, 
that'll do nicely. But the next thing I'll need to do is drill some holes. I've got one already there. I think another one out there so I can drill into the wall. Two more in. And it. Like it says, screw it into place with some glue on the back and then glue the shelf into place. Um, now it's a little bit on the loose side, but that's fine. What I've done is I've got a couple of wedges of wood, you can see there it's got a nice wedge shape on it, that will just pack in underneath and hold everything nice and tight while the silicon dries. And once the silicon's dried, nothing's going to move it, so there's no problem there. Okay, now then, I want it there, but I want it mm, clearing up, up so it's not going to bind up on the plug socket there. So I think that's, that's a good enough height just there. All right, now again, very hard board, use a bad hole. Or your screw will be spinning all over the place. Mm -hmm. Find the hole I've just made, there it is. That's it. There's a little bit wobbly at the moment, but solid up. I've got a nice good bead of silicon along the back there to bond it to it. And because of the gap, I'm going to put a good bead on the bottom. There. And then holding it up near the top while I get the wedges in. Shelf. Just check everything. Nice and convenient. This one was for this end here. And the wires you see will just pierce through that hole there. Which is the tool. There we go. Yeah. It's tight enough. It's off the desk. And I can see where it is. That's the first three tools off the desk. Sorted. Okay, so again, I think that's enough for today. Um, next one, we'll start and pick something else and work another way out of getting it up off the desk and out the way where I can see it, use it, get to it easily, but it's not in the way. Okay, right, well, thanks for joining me again. Until next time, bye.